Hey, what's up you guys? Aaron here from Clever Programmer, and today we're just going to be going over casting. Uh, you don't know what that means yet, but I'll explain in a minute. Let's get started. Okay, so uh, last time, last video I believe we talked about data types. Now all casting means is we are going to be casting from one data type to another data type. So let's say we had a integer, had one, and we wanted to cast it to a floating point number 1.0. You could do that just by throwing it into this little casting function thing. It'll actually turn the integer into a floating point number. So let's see how that works. So let's say you have a one, okay, x is one, and then I wanna make x a floating point. So we could just put, uh, I believe, float, it's a function, it looks like a function, uh, it's called casting though, and then you can just put uh, x in there to get 1.0 out. Or you could even just put one in here, same deal. The same thing happens, okay? Uh, so that's basically what uh, casting looks like. Um, you can pretty much cast any data type to any other data type that makes sense. So for the primitive data types, you can cast, you can also cast integers to strings. So let's try this. If we have an integer, just one, if you wanted to um, cast this to a string, you just put str like that, you put a number inside, and then when it prints, it's actually a string. You can see the quotation marks here. Same deal, if you wanna cast from um, a string, or you pass it to the int function, but if you wanna cast a string, let's say just string with a bunch of g's there, we can cast it to an, uh, actually, what am I What am I saying? Stupid me. If you want to cast, so that you wouldn't be able to cast to an int because the computer would actually be like, what the heck are you trying to do? Cast that to an int. So if I run this, you get an error. So that's actually good. I made that mistake. It's a little example for you guys. But if you actually put a number in here, like 34, um, and then hit uh, enter to cast it, then you can see that Python actually knows what to do with this string and it actually follows through with casting it to an int. So casting is kind of this weird thing. Um, you, it doesn't work all the time, but you need it um, to change between data types. Like if you want to display a number. So actually what's happening, one good example is in this print function, you can only, you can only print strings to the screen. You can't actually print numbers. So when I put a number in here, five, What's going on in the print function is it is actually being casted to a string five. The number five is being casted to the string five before it's actually being printed. And that's why this five pops up here, okay? Um, also, Booleans, you can kind of um, cast that. It's not very common, so you don't really need it. But it's also a thing you can do. I believe if you cast, uh, an, int, if you cast uh, an int to a Boolean, I think zero is false. And anything that's not zero, so a one, a negative one, and every other possible number are all true, okay? So that's pretty much casting. It's for casting between data types in Python and pretty much every programming language. But that's how you do it in Python. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. A short video today, and I'll see you next time.